She's very clever. She's adorable. Her name is Sophie Wright. And you are cooking... Griddled poussin with pomegranate and carrot salad. Little Essex girl. Say it again. Pomegranate... <laughs> pomegranate and carrot salad. Camembert works really well with anything fruity. And especially when you've got figs at their ripest, you know, when they're almost jammy inside. The first I time... I love cooking like this. Do you like competitions? Love, love it. Like, I they're my them. thing. My thing. Love really? Them. Yeah, really, really good. Okay. Your butcher will mince the venison for you. So now let's cook for just a couple of minutes. I just love the... The textures actually are really, really good together because it's sort of, it will marinate all okay, the veggies so that, it together. Gets all the flavours in it. Yeah, and, and it will all go into all that. And we can just mix all these ingredients together in that in that bowl. Really? You want to buy a sort of smaller pot. It's coming out of season now, really. But the smaller you buy and the sweeter they are, the better the flavour. If you want to cut, say, this brie or the crust in half, if you use a hot, wet knife to do that, it will stop the cheese from dragging, so you get a nice, clean finish on the edge. I'm a girl. I work with my my sous chef, a female. And actually, I think that we make very good chefs. Of course you do. You know, it's that you whole multitasking thing. Sophie Wright is treating us to what? Balsamic braised lamb shank with creamy mash. She's loving it, she. And normally people, you know, will associate venison with something that's quite wintry. Yeah, You've yeah. got to have it with, you know, chocolate sauce or, a, you know, a berry sauce. And I don't think it necessarily has to be like that. It's a really healthy meat, got, like, no fat in it, like, hardly any cholesterol, you know. So it's a nice thing, and it takes on other flavours really, really well. One of the ones I'd like to show you is a poisse. Now, this is from the Bourgogne region of France. To make this cheese, they actually wash it in an alcohol called Marc de Bourgogne. So you get a slight alcoholic taste right at the end. It's quite a smooth, soft cheese. How do you describe pomegranate as a taste? Oh, I don't know. It's sweet. It's, it depends what bit you have. If you have, if you bite into it, it's quite bitter, really. If you get the seed, but if you just take the juice, it's it's sweet and it's just yummy, isn't it?